have you ever wondered how companies like Amazon can predict what products you'll buy next or how Netflix recommends the perfect movie for you? Well, it's all about data analysis. Hello everyone and welcome to this video by Indelipat where we'll show you how to become a data analyst as a fresher. This exciting field is all about using your analytical skills to make sense of complex data and help businesses make informed decisions. But where do you start? Don't worry, we got you covered. In this video, we'll guide you through some essential tips and steps to help you develop the technical and soft skills needed to thrive as a data analyst. So stay till the end to know how you can be a top-notch data analyst and take the world of data by storm. But before we begin, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to receive regular updates from us. So let us begin by first understanding what does a data analyst do. A data analyst is responsible for analyzing large sets of data to identify patterns, trends, and insights that can help businesses make informed decisions. They use statistical analysis and data visualization tools to create reports and dashboards that communicate their findings to stakeholders. Data analysts also play a crucial role in data management by cleaning, organizing, and maintaining data sets to ensure data quality and accuracy. Additionally, they may collaborate with other professionals in the field such as data engineers and data scientists to develop and implement data-driven solutions that improve business performance. Ultimately, the goal of a data analyst is to turn data into actionable insights that drive business success. Now we'll look at the steps you need to take to become a data analyst. Develop a strong foundation in math and statistics. Developing a strong foundation in math and statistics is essential for anyone who wants to become a data analyst. Math and statistics are the backbone of data analysis and understanding these subjects will help you effectively analyze and interpret data. Here are some of the key concepts that you need to focus on when developing your foundation in math and statistics. First is algebra. Algebra is the study of mathematical symbols and the rules for manipulating these symbols. As a data analyst, you will need to be comfortable with algebraic expressions and equations. Second is calculus. Calculus is the study of rates of change and accumulation. You will need to understand concepts such as derivatives and integrals when analyzing data. Third is probability theory. Probability theory is the study of random events and the likelihood of these events occurring. As a data analyst, you will need to be familiar with probability distributions and statistical inference. Next on the list is descriptive statistics. Descriptive statistics are used to summarize and describe data. You will need to be familiar with concepts such as measures of central tendency, variance, and standard deviation. Then we have inferential statistics. Inferential statistics are used to make predictions and draw conclusions about a population based on a sample. You will need to understand concepts such as hypothesis testing and confidence intervals. Finally, linear algebra. Linear algebra is the study of linear equations and their applications. You will need to be familiar with matrix algebra and vector spaces when working with large data sets. The next step is to learn programming languages. Learning programming languages is crucial for anyone who wants to become a data analyst. Programming languages enable you to extract, clean, and analyze data efficiently. Here are some of the most popular programming languages that are used by data analysts. First is Python. Python is a general-purpose programming language that is widely used in data analysis. It has a rich set of libraries and tools for data manipulation, analysis, and visualization. Some of the popular Python libraries for data analysis are Pandas, NumPy, and Scikit-learn. Second is R. R is a programming language specifically designed for data analysis and statistical computing. It has a wide range of libraries and tools for data manipulation, analysis, and visualization. Some of the popular R packages for data analysis are ggplot2 and tidyr. Next is SQL. SQL is a programming language used to manage and manipulate databases. It is commonly used to extract data from databases, filter and sort data, and join tables. SQL is a must-know language for data analysts who work with databases. Next on the list is Excel. Excel is a widely used spreadsheet program that is used for data analysis. It has a range of built-in tools for data analysis, such as pivot tables and charts. When learning programming languages, it is important to start with the basics and gradually build your skills. Here are some steps you can follow to learn programming languages. Start with basics. 
Learn the syntax and the basic constructs of the programming language that you want to learn. This includes variables, data types and control structures. Next is to learn libraries and tools. Familiarize yourself with the popular libraries and tools used for data analysis in the programming language that you have chosen. Practice. Practice coding on small projects and exercises to get hands-on experience with the programming language. Next is to join online communities. Joining online communities such as Stack Overflow, Reddit or GitHub to ask questions and learning from experienced programmer would be of great help. Fifth is to attend courses and workshops. Attending online courses and workshops to learn new concepts and techniques in data analysis is a plus point. The next step is to gain practical experience. Gaining practical experience is essential for anyone who wants to become a data analyst. Practical experience helps you apply your theoretical knowledge to real-world problems and build a portfolio of projects that can demonstrate your skills to potential employers. Here are some steps you can follow to gain practical experience in data analysis. First is to find relevant projects. Look for relevant projects that you can work on to gain practical experience in data analysis. You can find projects online on platforms like Kaggle or reach out to non-profit organizations or local businesses to offer your services. Second, define the problem. Once you have identified a project, define the problem and the goals of the project. Make sure that the problem is well defined and that you have a clear understanding of what you need to achieve. Third is to gather and clean data. Data cleaning is an important part of data analysis. You will need to gather data and clean it before you start analyzing it. Make sure that the data is relevant, accurate and complete. The next step is to analyze the data. Using your programming language skills and statistical knowledge, analyze the data, visualize the data and draw insights from it. Next is to communicate your findings. Communicate your findings to your stakeholders in a clear and concise manner. Use data visualization and other tools to present your findings. The last step is to reflect on your work. Reflect on your work to identify areas where you can improve. Take feedback from your stakeholders and use it to improve your skills. The next step is to learn data visualization. Learning data visualization is an important part of becoming a data analyst. Data visualization helps you communicate your findings in a clear and compelling way. Here are some steps that you can follow to learn data visualization. First is to choose a tool. There are many data visualization tools available, such as Tableau, Power BI, and Python libraries like Matplotlib and Seaborn. Choose a tool that you are comfortable with and that is widely used in your industry. Next is to learn the basics. Learn the basics of data visualization, such as color theory, design principles, and chart types. Learn how to choose the right chart type for your data and how to design charts that are easy to read and understand. Next is to practice. Practice creating charts and visualizations on sample data sets. Start with simple charts and gradually move to more complex ones. The next step is to learn from examples. Look for examples of good data visualizations and analyze what makes them effective. Look for examples of bad data visualizations and learn from their mistakes. The final step is to get feedback. Get feedback on your visualizations from your colleagues, mentors, or online communities. Take their feedback and use it to improve your skills. The next step to become a data analyst is to stay updated. The field of data analysis is constantly evolving and new tools and technologies are being developed all the time. Here are some steps that you can follow to stay updated in the field of data analysis. First is to read industry publications. Read industry publications like Harvard Business Review, Data Science Central, and Katie Nuggets to stay up to date with the latest trends and developments in data analysis. Next is to attend conferences and events. Attend conferences and events related to data analysis to learn new skills, meet experts in the field, and network with other professionals. Third is to follow industry experts. Follow industry experts on social media, blogs, and other platforms to stay updated with the latest news and insights in the field. Fourth on the list is to join online communities. Join online communities like LinkedIn groups, Reddit, or Quora to ask questions, share your knowledge, and learn from other professionals. Next is to take online courses. Take online courses to learn new skills and stay updated with the latest developments in data analysis. The final step is to participate in challenges and competitions. Participate in challenges and competitions like Kaggle to test your skills, 
Learn from others and stay up to date with the latest tools and techniques in data analysis. In conclusion, becoming a data analyst requires a combination of technical and soft skills as well as dedication and hard work. By building a strong foundation in math and statistics, learning programming languages, gaining practical experience, learning data visualization, staying updated, and building strong network, you can develop the skills and knowledge necessary to succeed in this field. Remember, data analysis is a constantly evolving field and requires continuous learning and improvement. With the right mindset and approach, you can build a successful career as a data analyst and make a positive impact in your organization and the world. And with that, we come to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. If you want to make a career in data science, then Intellipat has IIT Madras Advanced Data Science and AI Certification Program. This course is of very high quality and cost effective as it is taught by IIT professors and industry experts.